What's up guys, Video Game Guru here with a guide for Battlefield 4. This is all collectible locations in the entire game, that is uh, dog tags and weapons. So first off, we're going to start on Baku, and the, it's at the very beginning of the mission. As you run down the hallway, you're going to find a door on your right. You open it, and it's knifed to a uh, poster board. Next, as you enter this room that you have to clear out, it's the first time you learn how to engage enemies. Uh, if you drop down and then immediately head up to your left, you'll see the M39 right there. Um, next, uh, you're going to enter an area where before you drop down to get the gadget, there's going to be this big hole you got to drop through. What you need to do is jump over it, and I hope you don't miss, because then you're going to have to restart the mission, uh, or very quickly restart checkpoint and hope that it works, because uh, you can't go back up, and it'll be up there. The next one is as you get about halfway across uh, the field in the mission, you're going to see these barrels rolling down the middle, and pipes on the right don't get stuck in the first one but you're gonna have it in this pipe right here for uh, your next weapon. Uh, some people, this is early on in the game uh, and release, but some people have been experiencing bugs in their, uh, like if you view the missions in your main menu that they won't be showing things that you actually have. Don't worry, uh, people have said that they got the achievement anyway even though the game was saying they didn't have it. So this next one, uh, as you walk through the pipe, go up the scaffolding on the far right, sprint across it, and then jump across on the first uh, first of two walkways across. Not really walkways, but supports. And then after the buildings come down and Dunn's down there, before you help him out, jump through that fire, go to the front of the helicopter, and you'll get your next dog tag. The next mission is Shanghai, and we're going to start off with a dog tag. Almost all of these start with dog tag, except I think for the last mission. And after we've gotten out of the van, uh, you're going to have this tree here, and pack will go to the left, and you're going to want to go to the right. And here it's got a little bit of ways to run. Um, you will be visiting this spot again later on in the mission, so if you miss it to start, um, you can get it afterwards. However, just for continuity, it's a bit easier to get it now. And you're going to come to a part where it goes left and right, and go left, and it'll be knifed to a... Um, door. You're going to notice that uh, during the game, you can't hear them here because I have it turned down, but as you approach a collectible, uh, there's a chime that the game sounds, and you, it's very audible as you're playing the game and very clear. So anytime you're entering in an area that looks familiar to this video or any other video you've watched, uh, just know that a uh, collectible is coming up. Next one is as you go up the elevator, turn around, look up, and there it is just above the doors. Uh, stay stay with me here for a second because uh, our gun is right after this and I'm going to pick what I want. This is very early on so I didn't have much of what I liked. Um, but we're going to walk forward and it's up to you whether or not you just want to sprint and take out the enemy or whatever. I waited just because it's a bit easier. Uh, if any of you watched my headshot blood wake video, um, this is where I did it. It was a lot easier to just line people up, chuck nades, and get... There we go. There's a multi-kill. Anyway, so that door that the guy came out of, head to the left, go to the boxes, and it'll be leaning up against a locker. Come on, you can hold... I think I kept pressing Y instead of switching. There we go. It didn't work for a while. Now, uh, we're going to go back down the elevator after we've uh, sent Kovic in the helicopter and walk into the lobby, and the gun will be on this statue here next to the crate. Bipods are actually pretty useful in this game. I had to turn, I'm on Xbox, and I had to turn aim assist off because it kept messing with my aim so much. And the next one is, as we head back down the alley, your, that tree, uh, it'll be up against the fence. So, South China Sea, this is at the very beginning after we've gotten out of the bed, and that kind of annoying guy talked to us for a while. There's going to be two guys at the end of the hallway uh, fixing something, big red light, and head into the room on the right, and there it is. Uh, the next one is not until after we've gotten onto the Titan, we're looking for hatch G45. There's the door on the right that leads to the hatch. We want to go left, and there's the P90, which in my mind is a really, really useful secondary if you're ever just in a 
close quarters room, you can hold the trigger and it does very good damage. So the next one is in the water. Um, at the very end of your swimming, don't don't surface because you won't be able to come back down. But stay in this last room, and I took forever to find it because I'm an idiot. But it should be straight adjacent from where you came in. So on the left on a pillar. There you go. And Lord of the Waves. So this one is after the Titan has split in half and you jump on to the second half. Go straight to your left and there's going to be a uh, plane in the way. Now that plane quickly moves in about five seconds. And what we can do is we can now go into that path and there will usually be a guy there, but there wasn't. And it will be leaning up against the side of the ship. I switched back from my P90, much better. So the next one that we want is as we enter this room that's got multiple Ospreys on the left hand side and we've regrouped with a couple Marines, um, we're going to want to go to the second Osprey, uh, which are those four rotor uh, heli carriers. Go inside and it's leaning up against the left and it's a Spaz 12, quite like those. So after, when we're coming out of the ship onto the deck, instead of going left, we want to go straight to the right, and there will be a burning helicopter in front of an Osprey. And we, if we go to the far side of the helicopter, we'll find our next collectible. I tried to edit it as much as I could, but there may be some of these where I look around like a doofus, because I, I knew where they should be, but I couldn't quite find them right away. So now that we're on Singapore, the very beginning of the mission, once you get to the beach, you're going to find this boat on the left hand side, and there it is, stabbed into the side. Now uh, this gun is, before we've gotten in the tank, we're going to go underneath a bridge where there's a whole bunch of scaffolding on the left hand side. If we go up on the first level and sprint around, you don't have to jump there, but I did, and then make this jump here, I failed that a couple times, uh, we're going to find a Scar H. Yeah, that jump was kind of getting on my nerves after the third time. I think I made it fourth. So our next weapon is probably the most out-of-the-way collectible in the game. Uh, once we've gotten to the area where we have to lower the bollards, turn around and head up the ramp. And then, again, like I said, this is the for collectibles in games, there are usually quite a few that are a bit ridiculous in their placing, like especially Halo 3, but that, that was because there was only one level. But this one, none of the other collectibles require you to do scaling or anything like that, like here. And we're going to find a M240. It's a pretty good machine gun. So the next one is, as we drop into this nightclub, uh, you're going to see an achievement pop up for War Turtle. I got these in the same video. So uh, that's what this is. I was not happy with how weak the RPG was, even in story mode. I can see it being, you know... Um, weakened in multiplayer just for balance issues but in story mode I would put it at people's knees and it wouldn't kill them which was especially frustrating for War Turtle because you need to get 15 kills with it anyway hop the bar and it'll be stabbed into the bottom side of it so the next one on the level is after we've climbed out of the sewers we're gonna want to get uh, C4 or grenade launcher or something I don't think a only a grenade will do because we need to break a crate for this one. Yeah, you can see here I've got way more weapons than I had before. So, Iris is going to open this door and we're going to walk into a hangar before a hangar pretty much. And if we head straight to our left, we're going to find a room that's got two uh, box pallets in the back right corner. What we want to do is we want to shoot it. Uh, I thought there was only one, but we'll shoot this one. And it'll be leaning up against the wall behind the crate. And I'm promptly shot in the back by a guy that Irish didn't see. AI in this game are useless. It was kind of getting on my nerves. So once we've gotten into the full hangar, what we want to do is there's a big plane right in front of you. And we can, if you go to the far side of it, so opposite the side you came in, climb up the uh, stairs and then hop onto the plane, it'll be stabbed into the door right there. So for Mission 5, Kunlun Mountains, um... Our first one is at the very beginning after we've t uh, opened all the cells and we head into this room we've met up with Irish. Uh, if we go to the cell on the far right we'll find it stabbed in the wall and you can get it through the grate. So this is uh, while 
um, the Russian guy whose name is slipping my mind is hacking the control room. If we go up on these rafters and then go to the one that is on the left when we come in and on the right when we're at the far end looking back, it'll be against a uh, power conduit. And then as we're heading up the hill towards the tram, if we go underneath here, take out the enemies, and we'll find a very good sniper, the recon sniper. Uh, does a lot of damage, is pretty accurate, kills to the chest in one hit. And then once we've gotten to the top, instead of going up and getting on the tram right away, we want to go underneath and we'll find a knife stabbed into, some of these are in really ridiculous places, uh, stabbed into the side. So for the next mission, Tashgar, um, our first one is going to be a weapon. Now the PKP, which is the weapon I'm getting right here, is found on any armored, so like big guy on this level. Um, I kill him here when I kill the tank because I had been sprinting through and the tank followed me. But what you want to do is it's not in any random place. It'll be on any big guy. So you can pick it up off of him, kill the people that are trying to stop you from doing that, and that will count as, as a collectible. So yeah, you can see him in full body armor there. Pretty distinguishable. We got what we needed. Now, immediately, uh, if, you, if you killed that guy, immediately turn around. If it was another guy... Our next weapon is going to be in this exact same area. This is just where I just was. If we go to the far left, we're going to find a burned car to the left of a tree. And it'll be in between the car and the tree. And it is a M249. So this one's got a lot of machine guns. So our first dog tag is going to be um, in this area where we've got a uh, blue, big blue truck wedged in here. And there's... Um, drapes of blue hanging on the building on the right hand side and there's tanks in this area they're all shooting away from us like when we get to this point all of the enemies are facing the other way this is before we've met up with Greenland just if you were confused and we gotta blow up that truck with C4 and get what we need staying in the exact same area now we're gonna want to go up the stairs that were behind those drapes that we saw before and uh, this was in two different videos so you're gonna see enemies in one and enemies not in the other and you can choose to kill them, choose not to. I push that guy off the roof. And we're going to find the weapon. We're going to find the weapon. Come on. On these crates right here next to the mesh fence. And it is on the opposite side of where I picked it up from. Carrying on with this level, we're going to come to a point where uh, we got attacked by a helicopter. And then we went up. Uh, we went over a fence and we've come here. You can go down to the right. But what we want to do is go up to the left to this kind of... Um, makeshift building, go up the stairs, and then hop on to, hop on to it. I speed this all up because I got a little bit lost. Yeah, all these enemies just kept getting in the way. Anyway, so back to what we need. You can see it right there glowing. Hop on here, try not to fall off, and then, oh, I fell off. Yep, I'm retarded at this game. I keep thinking I have to back up and make a big run up but battlefield you don't need that well we're on to the last mission Suez this one has um, just a couple pieces and it's a very short mission this whole game is fairly short but what we want to do is get up here on the right hand side this is about halfway across the deck at the beginning of the mission um, we want to get on top of this Osprey so to do that we have to go up the plane wing that is we can see it right there straight ahead uh, walk across the walkway and then jump across onto the Osprey wing. Staying in the exact same area, here's the Osprey that we would have just jumped off of. Head straight along here and we're going to have this fire in front of us. Go to the left and it'll be on the far side of the second pile of rubble. Glowing right there. Alright, last piece coming up. Uh, this is a dog tag and we will find this in the area where we walk into the med bay, infirmary, whatever you want to call it. Jinjay will give a speech and you can still move around and interact with things. You want to go to the bed on your right and you'll find it right there. Well, I hope I've um, assisted you in getting your recon achievement and everything else you needed, finding all your collectibles. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching. Rank, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys.